well come back ladies and gentlemen that was loud wasn't it to the sneezing channel to my channel and today we are gonna have a little look at zoning I love how this game works oh my goodness the hay fever is high tonight ladies and gentlemen so this is a new um, this is a new city that I've started Los Cruz um, it's got some interesting uh, elements going on uh, this is one of the cities I think in that you can you can get one of the starting maps if you like if we look at the areas this is one of the starting maps you can get if you have the uh, industries um, DLC which is interesting because you have these these three sort of waterways in and this ho these whole areas that will be very rich as long as you don't pollute them and have a load of crud coming out and then these weird bits down here which it's like archipelago type tiny little islands there but anyway here we are here there's hardly any buildable resources here but let's let's have a look so I built this little city I built this city on rock and roll I, I didn't but uh, it's running it's doing okay it's making a bit of money but we're here to talk about zoning so as you see I've done this kind of funky one-way system if we look at the roads would that do it or would the inspector do it uh, you can sort of see the one ways of the roads how do you usually see that is it like that yeah so the way that the, and it also shows the zones which is kind of cool because that's what we want to talk about so where the highway comes in I previously had this as one way down here one way down here but heading this way not heading to the left just to give people more chance to get off the highway and do other things and then I realized that if people came down here and went this way there was no other way apart from people coming in from the highway to service these buildings so you've got to be really careful about how you uh, how you uh, direction your roads but that's not what we're here to talk about what we are here to talk about is zones and look at these zones look look how nice this place is zoned and it is zoned in such a way that um, it, it assisted me at the time when I was building the city and we also have this big bit in the middle that we haven't got anything in there at the minute so if we look at zones themselves uh, let's go to just the delete zone part at the minute the zones are the main part of your city this is how you deal with air, the three types of building currently available at the start we have the industrial which is yellow uh, and strangely at the bottom it shows it as orange on the bottom right which is very odd why is it orange and not yellow uh, these are blue and they are in the in the bottom right that the the they are the um, the blue line and the green is the residential now the lines in the bottom corner are telling you what is what your city is needing so currently our city is needing a, a fraction not anymore uh, all it's needing is industrial it just needs industrial zonage that is what it needs and if we look all of the industrial spots that we have have buildings on now essentially industrial buildings are places of work that's what they do so the reason why these are required is that all of your residents have to have somewhere to go to work they're either going to go and work in a blue commercial sector so if we have a look at them shops shops cafes petrol stations etc or they're going to go and work in factories there's a garment factory there's another clothes factory there's a garment factory ice cube factory look at that ice cube factory how the hell does that produce ice cubes look at the state of it look at that it almost looks like a prop from Fortnite, doesn't it with the uh, trash bin and the pallets it's quite interesting um, so your population needs places to work oh hold on 
let's just deal with this situation not enough electricity let's just have a quick look why is that happening because we are not producing enough now the reason why that's happened is the wind that these things are producing has gone down the wind speed's dropped to six so it's hardly putting out any power so uh, that's not useful well, let me just fix that while we're here let me put in another one of these can I stick it on here that would be great can I stick it can I stick it yeah look at this island it's just being used for a wind farm bosh damn it I missed it missed it there we go get on get on come on we got to have precision placement precision 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 come on place me god damn it that'll do there we go that should sort out that power that will all filter through when it will happen so the first thing you do when you start a city is you resident uh, is you zone out residential because you need people to come in and then very quickly you'll need to start zoning out um, commercial and industrial so that people have places to work and as you can see with this city I zoned out so much residential that as soon as any residential need pops up in the bottom bottom right somebody will come and take one of these plots uh, and they will move in here and depending on you know the the market value of the land uh, what's next to it how many services are attached to it if, if a fire station covers it if a police station covers it if whatever so I think this one has just been taken has it has that just become something yep so that is now just being built so you will actually just sit here and watch this being built so now in the bottom right you can see where that little green part was coming on that little line it as soon as it gets filled the need is taken away so what it's saying is we have a huge amount of industrial zoning needs so let's build ourselves a little industrial zone now we want to keep it away from our pumping station that's the if we have a little look at our pollution you're gonna see there's quite a bit of pollution coming from these like these two houses they are not gonna be very happy because they are oh no they're shops there you go they're the factories but the houses that are next to them and there are some somewhere there you go there's a house right opposite the factory they are gonna be hating it really and you can see the ground pollution just start to ebb into uh, the overlay of the map you can see that happening but it's all right at the minute now in order to zone first thing you need to do is add some roads as always we need roads now interestingly with the um, update that I got that industries you get these weird industry roads you see how different they look in the in the in the bottom right there they look really odd um, but they look pretty cool uh, I also got the mass transit update which gives you lots of other things as well so there's lots of stuff on here that look at this toll booths all sorts of amazing stuff massive highways that you can look at but all we care about right now let's just keep with a small road and what we're gonna do to try and minimize the damage we are going to do see I've built this lovely sort of like acorn shaped like bud shaped town but uh, you know it's it, whilst it's it's great it, it, it's not very practical let's put it that way uh, so let's zone ourselves some in industry because well we're gonna need a two now what I'm gonna suggest doing because this plot here so this plot is empty because there's nothing in it the plots that have something in it they usually have some kind of sort of it flattens the area you can see the sort of yellow um, or cream area it sort of flattens out what's going on so you know that there is something there so there's a that is a little house uh, and if you use the inspector tool it shows you the actual plot that it takes up so this space here is residential but it's not being used so it's totally empty these ones will never be used probably that's just the way it goes when you use sort of curved roads that's that's the way things happen I need to put in uh, a garbage a garbage pail but in fact what I'm going to do is pause pause the game so I'm not inadvertently ruining my city so what we want to do is work out where we're going to place an industrial zone on this map 
and we are just going to stick it straight through here because nobody's really going to take this plot of land because it's in between two factories. So to, to make things easier, first thing you need to do in your zoning menu, which is this one here, it tells you what it is. If you push R3, it gives you some information on how you're dealing with um, zones and it tells you what you can do. But we're going to choose that and we're going to move over to the D zone and we are going to dezone this little zone just because then it's it's gone and if we then look when we're looking to zone you'll see that this little place has no coloring in it so it's totally empty that's absolutely fine all we're going to do right now is build a road away from this junction without uh, destroying this building because that's what would usually happen so I'm going to try and make it come off here which I can't so I have to make it come off this junction now if I do it like that both of those buildings will survive so there we go and then we'll just come off this way right let's have a look and see where we want to go doesn't really make any difference let's just let's just build if you want to try and snap it to these lines for sort of cleanliness you know making things a little bit you know more uh, OCD then go right ahead Let's have a 145 road. Bosh, right, so there we have, and every time you put down a road like this, all of these zonable squares appear that you have to fill in order to get different types of buildings to come and join them, come and sit in them. Now, if we look at our map correctly, the blue circle around, the light blue circle, the big blue light blue circle around the darker blue uh, middle circle is telling you how big the zonable roads will be and the square is telling you how much um, let's leave let's go let's just go to there how much zoning will happen and what you want to do is try and maximize so you don't waste any space really so we're going to turn this into oh that's not right we don't want it there we're going to turn this into like a district if you like of commerce and industry so now, I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to make it go to the right length, because otherwise there's no point. Okay, so we've added these extra roads. They're only small roads, so they can only have low-density buildings on them. That's absolutely fine. But what we now need to do is zone them so that we have decent uh, a mixture of, of what's going on. Now, we need a lot of industry, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to choose the industry now if we have a look on this this is just blocking through all of these types of squares it's just gonna smack all of those in there like that bang 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 they are all now industry only industrial buildings can go in there that is not what we want so we'll just delete them we're just going back to the D zone tool which is this end one over here there it goes it just unzones anything which is absolutely fine now let's go back to we don't want to block in all of this area, so that is fairly annoying. But if you look in the bottom left, above the pause icon, there's a fill icon with a, a triangle, and that's telling you we've currently got it set on fill. So whenever you're in one of these menus, you can hold down the triangle, and it will bring up the radial menu of that particular menu. So we've currently got it on fill. You can either have it on a small circle, which would zone an area like that and you can just use X to zone within the circle or you can have a medium circle you see how this is going or you can have a large circle to zone the whole areas okay then you just go back to D zone and you just hold down X and you can D zone the whole lot now one of the nice ways of doing zoning is if you hold down triangle or go to select and then what that does is it literally just gives you like a drag and drop like uh, like a square tool a parallelogram tool like this and it will just zone everything and you can also just do single areas like that beep I just want that one I just want that one and that one nothing will ever build there because that's not how the game works but we will zone the whole of that area and it will only zone what it can zone so now there's no point zoning these two things industry because I don't think I don't think anything could spawn on a one square 
industry. So let's dezone that and let's move over to the blue and make it commercial. And I think we might be able to get a couple of tiny little commercial buildings on here. There we go. Uh, and why not make and why not make these commercial as well? How many squares is that? Two, four, six, seven. Let's do eight squares like that. Fine. And we're just going to make all of that commercial. Now we don't actually need that much commercial blocking. We do not need anywhere near as much uh, blocking as that. So do you know what? I'm going to take it out. I'm looking down in the bottom right at what the little um, bar graphs are telling us and it's telling us we need a shed load of uh, industry so let's get rid of all that I'm gonna leave this stuff here because I want to I'm gonna move it back to industry and I'm gonna give it a good block like that smack big load of industry then I'm gonna do a four block commerce in between just because why not why the ever not just to break it up a bit uh, then I'm going to do some more industry this is probably not the way you'd want to do this I would suggest but it's just you know it's it's just a nice way of making a strange multicolored pattern and who doesn't want that uh, and then we'll do another little block of floor floor a block of four of commerce and then we are going to whack a load of houses in in fact i'm going to leave another block of four at the end in fact no i'm not i'm just going to make it all residential so let's unpause the city speed the time up there we go it's on the quickest time and you'll see the bar chart in the bottom uh in the bottom left now start changing and you'll see all these other buildings will start getting built and if we look at the zones, what's being built, all of these industry ones are taking up straight away. And you'll see that big orange bar come crashing, crashing right back because it's telling you that the city is in desperate need for industry. All of these people need places to work. Look how much of this industry is being built already. And it still wants more. It looks like it still wants more. I think it does want more. How many more spaces have we got? A couple, 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 three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it still wants more industry. And none of this has water. So I'm going to pause the game. And all of these icons are popping up and now saying, wait a minute, the city is hating it. What the hell's going on? Let's just move over to our water. Have a look and see where our pipe network stops. Okay, so our, our water comes in from here. The wastewater goes out way over here and gets taken out to sea. So let's just drag these pipes over just to satisfy... Uh, what we need to, to do, covering the areas that need to be covered. There we Okay, that was doing a little save. That's why it did something weird there. That's not a problem. Just make sure all of the squares are covered, and I think that covers us all. So that's good for the water. That should all pop through. Now, if you're looking at power, power automatically gets shared through each of the buildings sort of underground if you like so you can see all these areas there is a like a power map underneath which is great so we've just successfully zoned those areas ladies and gentlemen nice and easy green residential at the top blue commercial and yellow industry bearing in mind we are going on what the advisor is telling us in the bottom right with the three uh, bar graphs going across now as you can see our industry has disappeared now there is no more need for industry and these will now be empty plots however we've got some of the commercial buildings coming in and more importantly we've got some of the residential buildings coming in which is easy what's wrong with our garbage collection well there isn't one so uh, let me just whack one in because uh, otherwise they're going to start getting well annoyed uh, where should I put it now I really don't want to destroy anything you can see how, how many things are going to get destroyed uh, Ugh. it's no good it doesn't fit in any of these it could go there look at that it could go there right let's let's put it there bosh there you go now this is right next to people's houses this is no good way of planning uh anything at all i mean and these two strips these these two little 
bars of uh, commercial. Maybe they'll grow into something. Maybe somebody will want to go there. Uh, don't worry about these trees. If somebody builds a plot there, they'll just knock those trees down. But look, yep, the industry's coming back. There's a little bit of um, requirement. Oh, look, the, the, uh, the city has grown even more. So whilst we're here, why not? Why not look at the zoning uh, of districts as well? Oh, look at this. We can now buy another area. Now, this is saying we need workers. So these guys are saying, where's all the people? Uh, we need workers. Yes, they are picking up your trash. Look, they're, they, they're, there's only so many. As soon as some people go and work there, they will start picking up your trash. Don't worry about it. Now, I don't advise leaving the game on... Spanky! Hello, mate. I didn't even see you there. I do not advise leaving the game on super speed, so I'm going to turn it back down again. But we had it on super speed just because. At this point of the game, you really should have put a medical center down. Uh, so let's just put one down. That covers almost everybody. I'd rather it be here, to be honest. No, I don't like that. There. Does that cover everybody? Pretty much. You see the green on the roads changes to how much it can cover. So let's do that. And we also really ought to have a school. So let's just whack a school right next to this roundabout. That's exactly where you'd want your school. Or should we put it in between these two... Um, <laughs> in between these two factories? No, I'll put it here. Can I? No, they both get demolished. I'll put it, I'll put it here. I will put it right next to the roundabout. <laughs> no, that's your school. No, you can't put the school there, man. That's wrong. You can't put the school like there. It's not right. They said this school hardly gets any people. It's like ridiculous. Uh, do you know what? I will put it there. Let's just stick it in. Bosh. There's the school. All oh, those people are happy because the school's gone in. Um, and they're still saying there's no electricity. Is that because we're not making enough? Yep. What a surprise. So you've got to keep on top of your city, guys. you got to keep on top of your city. Come on, come on. Let me put it, let me put it. Come on, let me put it down. Come on, come on. Yay, there's another one. So we're now making 16, consuming 19. Probably need another one. Right, that is way more power. Look at these. And as soon as that thing comes on, I'm pretty certain... Making 20. Come on. Production. Production should go up as soon as that thing powers up. Come on. Start spinning. There you go. Production 25. Consumption 19. But don't forget, as, as people move in, it's, uh, it's going to get worse. Um, now, let's zone these two areas. So, if we use L1 and uh, R1, we can move from this industrial specialization. I think that is in the normal game. But with the Industries DLC, it really I think there is a lot more to it. So um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, so all we want to do here is go Paint District. Now you can see the size. We can use the um, cursor keys to move it left, right, left, right. If we hold down Triangle again, we can have Medium, Large, or Small Circle. And that just does the same thing as the size left to right. And you can see the icon just above the play button in the bottom left changing to whatever size you've got. So let's turn this into a district. So you just hold down um, and you just paint what you want, where you want it. Let's just paint across here and just try and get the bits you want in. Make it, make it as neat as you like. So that is one district, Aspen Park. And then this district will be another. And let's just get everybody in. And you just literally paint it in like that. Bosh. Washington District. So we have made two districts. We go to the inspector. We can uh, leave it, change it to districts because why not? And if we look at this district, it tells you everything about all of the buildings in that particular area. And again, you can, you can do lots of different things in here. You can change the style of buildings. If you have DLCs uh, put in, Bear in mind, if you try and change it, it will say all of the buildings will have to be demolished and then rebuilt. So you don't want to do that. Really, you'd want to do that at the beginning before you start building. Uh, but it gives you a lot of information about um, what's in all of the different types of buildings, residential, commercial, and industrial in that area. How many people there, how many workers, etc., etc., etc. 
Now, what is interesting, when you're able to, and we are, we can do some of them, you can actually put s districts, so, you know, like council districts, if you like, uh, policies, sorry, you can put certain policies across the whole city, but you can also put them across your district. So you can say to these guys, like in Aspen Park, we're going to have a policy in place that says they're getting free smoke detectors. So it, and we've got a trophy there, a lawmaker trophy. There you go. I don't know why that's popped up, but I'll go and have a look at that afterwards. It tells you at the top what it does. It costs an amount of money per building, but it does all these things. So why not put these three brilliant policies in place? And it shows you um, just on the right there at the bottom what policies you have active. You can do separate taxation for the, each district. You can do all of these different things for each separate district rather than just doing them across the whole city. It's really granular, really cool way of, um, of doing things. And as you hover over it, it, look, it shows you they have those three policies in place. Now, Washington District, what we're going to say here is nothing, but you can change the name of the, the district. So we can just call it, um, let's call it Smoky Park. Smoky Park. This is one of the great things about this game. There's so much customization in it. It is just superb. Uh, so they are still looking for, um, let's put the power usage and the water usage on, but we'll leave the smoke detectors off. So there's much more risk of fire in this area. Why not? since there's a landfill here and there's uh, you know a lot of industrial buildings in here you can see when you build as well it automatically raises up the around uh, the land around to be on the same height as what the road is so that happens automatically so we have just built and um, district these two well we've built this whole area now smoky park just came in like that um, and if you look at it, it does it tell you how much money it's making I think if you do actually go to your economy screen, oh, I thought there was a place that told you how much each district earns. I'm sure there probably is somewhere that you can do that. But there you go. The districts, ladies and gentlemen, are pretty, they're great fun, to be honest. Um, you can get you can use them to erase districts you can use this one to paint more and you can use the inspector to have a look at what's going on in there i wonder if you can see the uh how much money each district uh, yes maybe maybe not i'm not sure so there you are the basics of zoning uh, in order to zone you have to have roads built and then you can paint your different colors going on what your advisor is telling you in the bottom right of the screen if there is a, a green bar it te it's telling you you need residential the city needs residential blue commercial yellow industrial look how quickly all of this industry came, became built and you can still see all of these empty plots the blue commercial plots are still empty because there isn't a there isn't a, 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 requ uh, a requirement for it at the minute look at this house here i'm intrigued i'm intrigued by this house they must be, yeah, look at their big sad face. They are hating it. The reason why they're hating it is because their house is in between two massive factories. So, you know, they probably won't stay there for very long. Uh, and that might become an abandoned house. But that's just one of the one of the parts of the game. Look at these airplanes flying. That is close. Gee whiz, guys. The red plane and the blue plane had a race. Um, and as you can see, the industrial area is sort of the brown, the brownness sort of pollution on the ground. Look at that bit of ground there. That is just horrific. In fact, let me take away these trees. Look at the pollution right next to the landfill. Yeah, baby. I want to live there. Smoky Park seems like the place to be. So use your districts well use your zoning well now as the game progresses you get um access to high density zoning you get access to office zoning and as i said with the industrial specialization you can uh look at um forest industry up by these trees uh farming uh, ore and coal and oil as well 
uh, or you can just have a, a generic industry so we can actually I wonder if we can actually make this a generic industry how would we do that generic industry can I paint it paint it no I think it already is generic there you go see I've changed that now to um, a, a, a weird industry and I need to change it back because it's not meant to be that <laughs> it just needs to be generic I don't know if in here we can change this I think as you get further in the game you can change your sort of districts and your commercial districts to be specific leisure types and things like that there's I mean there's quite a lot that you can do in the game ladies and gentlemen I'm intrigued by the amount of pollution that that area has already look at that the amount of pollution this area has already thrown out grim smoky park grimace maximus an aspen park surrounded by a hive by a horseshoe of villainy i wouldn't want to live there i'd prefer to live like over here with the wind farms this is where i'd be on that tree look at that i'd be up that tree playing a ukulele beautiful uh, so there you are ladies and gentlemen that is the basics of zoning go into your zoning tool use the zoning icons to pick out the bits you want bearing in mind your advisor in the bottom right will be telling you what it is that the city actually wants uh, and then go over to districts oh yeah I think we can if we went right over there you would be able to see commercial specializations yeah you see we don't have that open yet until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to save this and work out how long it's going to take me to put a stadium in the middle of Aspen Park. Take care. Tatty, ratty, bye. Look at Smoky Park. Oh, it's grim. Where do you live? Yeah, I live right behind the dump. And then I'm just going to go and have a burger. And what the frick is this? What even is this? A shop. But they seem quite happy. How do the burger people seem? They all seem quite happy as well. So let them get on with it, I say. Look at all these people. They're all lovely. They are happy. They don't care. One jot that they live next to the landfill. See you later.